All right, Steve, thanks. Big news when it comes to fracking, courtesy of the National Environmental Protection Agency. An EPA report released this week says fracking poses no widespread danger to drinking water. That report, as you can imagine, is being seen as a boost for the controversial practice. But what might this mean for New York State, which currently bans fracking? To fill us in, let's bring in our political analyst, New York Post political columnist Fred Dicker. And Fred, to be fair, the EPA's draft report found that some of the techniques involved with fracking do have the potential to contaminate drinking water, just not on a, a widespread basis. So what's the reaction to this latest report? Well, it's sort of predictable, Cody. It's fair to say that the governor's people are unmoved by this, even though the governor has claimed all along that it was going to be science that would drive his decision making. This is the most comprehensive report ever issued on hydrofracking in the United States. It costs something like $30 million. It comes from President Obama's EPA, not exactly a friend of industry, President Obama, in the view of a great many people. But I have something going on in my ear here. Excuse me, I'm having a little trouble hearing. Uh, but bottom line is that uh, the governor and his people remain unmoved. They didn't even express uh, uh, satisfaction that this report found so few problems. You would think at the very least they would say this is good news, that they still remain skeptical, but that uh, they're not going to move. Most people on the inside think this is all political. And I think the reaction suggests that's the case. Yeah, it was interesting. The DEC put out a statement, Department of Environmental Conservation, saying that you say it's very comprehensive, the most comprehensive report ever. They said it was uh, not as broad as the state's review and that the state found potentially significant problems. What's going to be the pushback I, here? Because the governor tried to, you know, the governor did ban this in February, and you have a lot of people, especially in the southern tier, looking to start fracking. Cody, the governor's statement or the statement by the Department of Environmental Conservation was preposterous. This is the most comprehensive study ever done, $30 million. If they spent a million dollars, it's probably a lot at DEC. So I think people saw that statement as political and little more. All right. Well, we know you keep an eye on it, Fred. Thanks so much. Don't forget, you can hear Fred's radio program live from the state capitol every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.